Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about the pharmacology of one of the topical medications, permethrin. Permethrin is a synthetic pyrethroid indicated for the treatment of scabies caused by tiny mites, Sarcoptes scabii. This is a contagious infection that spreads easily through physical contact and it mainly involves intense skin itching, which is more troublesome at night. It can affect many parts of the body, producing bumping, redness, and itching. Skin folds are mainly affected, and in infants they can also affect the soles of the feet. Permethrin is available as a cream at 5% strength for treating scabies where it kills living mites and their eggs. It can also be used to treat pediculosis capitis, commonly known as head lice. Louse infestations can spread easily from direct head-to-head -head contact with an already infested person or they can also be spread through sharing chairs, pillows, bedding, and combs. An adult lice can lay around 8 to 10 eggs every day and these eggs firmly bind to the base of the hair shaft. They are commonly known as nits. These oval-shaped nits are light brownish-white in color and easily spread into hair, especially at the back of the ear and neck. After eight days, these nits are hatched to release nymphs, whose organs are not completely developed. They take another eight days to mature, at which point an adult louse is ready to infest the scalp of the host and suck the blood. This causes severe itching, scratching, and tickling that may lead to irritability and difficulty sleeping. To treat head lice, permethrin is available as a lotion at a strength of 1%. Another formulation is also available as a lotion that contains permethrin at a 5% strength and can be used for the treatment of both scabies and pediculosis capitis. When it is used for the treatment of head lice, this lotion should be diluted with 4 parts water to produce a final concentration of 1% that can be applied to the scalp and hair. In this video, I am going to talk about permethrin, how it works on these mites, and the mechanism behind how it kills mites, nits, and nymphs. We also focus on how to apply this medication, important precautions, and possible side effects produced by this topical medication. First of all, let's see how it works. Permethrin, being a neurotoxin, acts on the neurons of the mites, resulting in reduced neuronal conduction and respiratory paralysis. It also kills nits, which may develop into adult lice if left untreated. Just like many living organisms, the neurons in head lice carry chemical signals through axonal conduction. These axons are myelinated, resulting in fast neuronal conduction. This is a small part of an axon with a myelin sheath, which when magnified can look like this. Nodal regions exist in between these myelinated sheaths where fast-acting sodium channels are expressed. When impulse reaches the nodal region, sodium can enter the axon through these sodium channels, resulting in depolarization and propagation of the signal to the next nodal region. Again, sodium can enter to further propagate the signal down the axon, leading to fast axonal conduction. Permethrin can now block these sodium channels, inhibiting axonal conduction and resulting in conduction block. This results in muscle paralysis, particularly respiratory paralysis in the mites, producing a cytal action. Now, let's discuss how to use this topical medication. For the treatment of scabies, generally, permethrin cream is applied at a 5% strength, although a 5% lotion can also be used for the same purpose. The cream should be uniformly applied to the entire body, from head to toe. Skin folds and hairy areas are more treated, but it shouldn't be applied to the eyes, mouth, or nose. In the elders, special attention is to be given to cover few of the body areas, such as forehead, temple, and hairlines to produce an effective treatment. Permethrin should be left in contact with affected skin areas overnight, and after 8 to 14 hours, it can be removed by washing with water. If necessary, the cream can be reapplied after one week of treatment. For the treatment of head lice, the contact time is very short. Initially, the hair should be washed with a shampoo, preferably without conditioner. After drying the hair, permethrin 1% lotion should be applied uniformly to the scalp and hair lines. A special focus should be given to the children to cover a few of the areas that are more prone to infestation with lice and nits. The lotion should be thoroughly applied to areas like behind the ear and the nape of the neck. 
Permethrin should be felt on the scalp and hair for around 10 minutes, after which it should be thoroughly washed. Conditioners and silicone-based shampoos should be avoided while cleaning the permethrin. Generally, this drug leaves a residual layer on the scalp that remains for 8 days to kill the nymphs hatched from the nits that bind firmly to the hair base. If a conditioner is used after applying permethrin, this layer is removed, resulting in the development of nymphs and the chance of reinfestation. After washing, hair can be combed with a knit comb to remove any lice, nymphs, and nits that remain on the hair. A second application can be made after 10 days of the first treatment if it is required. All the combs are properly cleaned after application of the permethrin. Towels should be washed and bed sheets and linen cloths should be machine washed, preferably in hot water, to kill the lice and avoid reinfestation after the treatment. Bed sheets and pillowcases should be replaced and all clothing should be thoroughly dried. Now let's focus on the precautions for the use of permethrin. As permethrin is a neurotoxic substance, it should not be instilled into the eyes as it increases eye irritation and redness. To avoid any accidental contact with the eyes, they should be covered with any towel or washcloth. Similarly, this drug should not be administered into the nose to avoid nasal irritation and sneezing. It should be neither swallowed nor applied to the mouth. Due to the possibility of fetal toxicity, permethrin is not recommended for pregnant women. This drug can be used for topical purposes in both adults and children, but it shouldn't be used in infants younger than two months. To avoid reinfestation and improve the efficacy of head lice treatment, permethrin should be used on family members who are in head-to-head -head contact with an already infected person. After application of this drug, precautions should be taken to avoid sharing the bed, hair clips, linen bed sheets, and pillows to prevent spreading of the infection. Chairs with fabric material should be thoroughly disinfected and combs should be thoroughly cleaned. Sharing of materials like scarves, hats, and headgear should be avoided. Adverse Effects of Permethrin Among the pyrethroids, permethrin shows less allergic reactions, but still a few of the adverse effects may be observed. It can produce irritation of the scalp and skin, which persists for a few days after the treatment of scabies. It can also increase swelling and redness of the skin. It can produce dryness on the scalp along with some redness. Skin rashes may be observed due to any allergic reactions. In asthmatic patients, permethrin should be carefully used as it may induce breathing problems, resulting in shortness of breath and wheezing. Chemical form of permethrin. Permethrin is a synthetic pyrethroid and it is a cyclopropane carboxylate derivative. It forms an ester bond with 3-phenoxybenzyl alcohol. On the cyclopropane ring in the second position, it is attached with a 2,2-dichlorovanyl side chain. So that's all about the topical medication, permethrin. This synthetic pyrethroid is used for the treatment of both scabies and pediculosis capitis. For the treatment of scabies, it is used at a strength of 5%, while for head lice management, it is used at 1% strength. Irritation, redness, and skin rashes are the common side effects observed with this drug. So that's the pharmacology of permethrin. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Stay tuned for another interesting video with a new topic. Have a nice day, take care, goodbye.